Welcome into another video. This time we're going over five sleepers that you could be looking at in your fantasy football drafts to be able to snag late and have huge benefits for your season. The first guy we're going to be sitting here talking about, it's going to be Alexander Madison. Alexander Madison right now was going to be going off to another team. He was a free agent. The Vikings ended up bringing him back on a two-year deal fully guaranteed because I knew that something was going to be up. They said they're probably either going to try to trade Dalvin Cook or try to get rid or just completely just cut Dalvin Cook as of June 1st. So if this does end up happening, Alexander Madison would move into that RB1 role. There would be nobody behind him. I mean, who are they talking about? Tyson Chandler or, or somebody in the, in, the, in, in the back end trying to take some carries from him? I don't think so. When Alexander Madison was able to step into that number one running back role when Dalvin Cook missed time, Madison was spectacular. There's literally nobody behind him to take any type of reps from him. I think he would be the clear cut number one guy. He would be an absolute steal right now if you're going through your drafts. Not a lot of people know uh, about the situation or, or think that Cook will be cut. I do strongly believe Dalvin Cook will be cut from this offense. And if you have Alexander Madison moving in as the number one running back for this team with Justin Jefferson and Kirk Cousins, TJ Hawkinson, uh, and, and Jordan Addison, a lot of these guys that are just coming in, it's gonna be a potent type of offense. You put Alexander Madison in the backfield with nobody competing for touches, Madison could be a top 10, top 15 running back in this type of offense. And I think right now you can get him so far late into the draft. He is an absolute steal for you to go target, to put on your team and see what happens. Because if, if, if it happens the way I think it's going to happen and Cook moves probably to Miami Dolphins or wherever he goes, if he gets cut, I think he'll end up with Miami, just my prediction. I think Alexander Madison would be an absolute steal for your team. He could be a starting running back for you. That way you can load up on your wide receivers early in the draft and then take Alexander Madison and have yourself a nice stud at the running back position. The next guy I'm gonna talk about here is gonna be a rookie, and that's who the Saints took, and that's gonna be Kendra Miller. Miller has an opportunity here, and it all kind of revolves around whether or not Alvin Kamara will be suspended, or will he just be outright just gonna be in prison for 10 years for what he did in Las Vegas and never have a career again? That opens the door for Miller. Yeah, they did go ahead and uh, take in Jamal Williams. I do like that. I think he's gonna get the first crack at being the number one running back for this football team, but Kendra Miller has the skills. When he played for TCU, he was the man. He doesn't have the huge breakaway speed. He doesn't have any. He has a good combination of size, speed, vision, elusiveness, everything that you need to be a complete back in the NFL. Not somebody like a Christian McCaffrey that's going to be juking you out of your shoes, but somebody who can have ample amount of opportunities in this offense. I think it could be a great one-two punch combo. And eventually, when Williams kind of wears out his welcome here, Kendra Miller could step in within two to three years as the number one running back for this football team. So if you're in a dynasty league, somebody you can swoop up in the middle rounds and be excited uh, that you did. If you're in just a rookie only draft, if you're kind of in, in the dynasty league for a couple years, be able to grab Kendra Miller in the back end of the first or early second, take a chance on this guy. I'm telling you, he could be really, really valuable uh, for your football team and for the Saints backfield in whole. So the next guy I'm going to talk about here uh, is going to be a nice little sleeper. It's going to be Deontay Foreman. Now, we think about what he did last year. He really came into his own and started being a very good, a valuable uh, running back for the Carolina Panthers. Now, when David Montgomery moved on from the Bears, they only had Khalil Herbert left. And I don't think that the Bears were happy with what Herbert could give them as a running back. One, they needed somebody to be able to share the workload, especially on the early down uh, carries and maybe even the goal line. And that's going to be Deontay Foreman. Foreman is going to be somebody you can put in as a running back to or even into your flex and give you weekly production, in my opinion. I think Foreman is going to be able to have a nice run game against behind this offensive line and in this run scheme that the Bears like to do. I know overall the Bears like to be this running team, and now with Justin Fields, he's more of a running style of quarterback. They're going to be running the ball all over the place, and they have to keep defenses honest so they don't just hone in on Fields. They're going to be handing the ball off quite a bit, and I think Foreman will be the go-to to guy in this offense Khalil Herbert was outstanding when he got the when he got the ball he just doesn't have the size to be able to hold up to 200 250 carries in a season so they had to put Foreman in here I think he'll give you a nice uh production at the running back position somebody you can throw into your flex and be happy that you have him somebody that's not going too high in the drafts somebody that you can you can take and be comfortable especially if you load up on those wide receivers early on so 
the next guy we're going to go over here let's talk about dalton schultz now we think about dalton schultz he had a great rapport with dak prescott and has a very valuable tight end type of seasons and now he's moving over to the houston texans they have cj stroud now the rookie and what do i tell you guys on this channel all the time rookie quarterbacks like to have safety blankets and the safety blankets are often the tight end if you have a serviceable tight end a lot of times the quarterbacks will look towards the dump offs at the tight end position because maybe they're too nervous right now they're not reading coverage they feel that pressure on them they want to dump the ball off and a lot of times it's to the, the tight end the Texans don't have a lot of receiving options in general. So I think Dalton Schultz could be a really good value for you. He's not being drafted whatsoever. You can get him to the back end of your drafts and have somebody as your starting tight end. We all know if you play fantasy football, finding a tight end that you can consistently rely on week in and week out is rough. Trying to find, find somebody that's going to be even in the top 10 tight end sometimes is rough. But you, anybody can get into the top five. I mean, we all know that the Travis Kelseys and the Mark Andrews and the George Kittles, they're going to be up there. But who knows after that? And I think Dalton Schultz could be a sleeper for a top five tight end this season just based on a situation where he's playing and how he could be utilized in this offense. Grab Dalton Schultz later on in your drafts and be happy that you did. Now, the last guy we're going to go over in this video is another tight end. Now, he is an absolute freakish athlete. That's going to be Jelani Woods. Woods now should be taking over the role for Mo Alley Cox in the Indianapolis uh, tight end spot. I do feel like there's just this youth movement happening right now with the Colts. Them drafting Anthony Richardson, who is also a freak athlete himself. Why not add a six foot seven freak athlete tight end in Jelani Woods and get him started, get him doing the reps? He has good hands. He's got good elusiveness. He can juke people out of their shoes. He's got he's got the hands in the red zone. He's got everything that you want in a tight end. Swoop up this guy. If you're in a dynasty league right now, I would go trade for this guy. If you're in a startup league, wait till the, towards the end of your draft and swoop up Jelani Woods. You won't be uh, mistaken that you took this guy. I'm telling you, he's going to be a big part of this offense. He could be the go-to guy uh, in the red zone for Richardson. What did we just talk about, Dalton Schultz? Well, there's another rookie quarterback in AR, and he might be looking for a safety blanket as well who none, none other than look for the big old tall six foot seven wire uh, tight end in Jelani Woods. So it could work out for your team. I really like the potential for Jelani Woods this year, especially if he's not splitting all the tight end work and really starts to get 60 to 65% of that tight end work. I think Jelani Woods could have a breakout season in 2023. Now, all this video right here are my top five sleepers. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any sleepers that you guys think of, leave it down in the comments below. I would love to see uh, who you guys could be sleepers or who you think could be sleepers this season. Uh, I'd love to have a conversation with you guys. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Give me a thumbs up on the like button. It really helps out the algorithm. Other than that, we're dropping videos each and every week to help get you guys uh, ready for your fantasy leagues uh, this upcoming season in 2023. I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys next time.